and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this video, we will be showing you how to install an OWC data doubler in a 17-inch MacBook Pro mid-2010 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our MacBook Pro in a soft, static-free workspace. To begin, Close the MacBook Pro and turn it upside down. There are a total of 10 Phillips screws we need to remove from the bottom of the MacBook Pro. We will begin by removing these three screws as they are different lengths than all the other screws. Now, gently pull the bottom of the case, starting at the top rear, until all the snaps release. The optical drive is located here. To remove the old optical drive, we first need to disconnect two cables using our nylon pry tool. Gently pry up here until the cable pops free. Repeat for the smaller cable. Next, we will be moving this module. We will remove these two Phillips screws to loosen the module so that we can reach the hidden Phillips screw underneath. Pull the module back a little to reveal and remove this Phillips screw. Next, remove this Phillips screw. Next to the fan is a partially hidden Phillips screw we need to remove. Gently move the wire out of the way and remove this screw. Now, use your nylon pry tool to lift one end of the optical drive and pull it free, being careful of this wire. From the old optical drive, we need to remove the data connector and bracket to use on the new OWC data doubler. Now pull the data connector out gently and set aside. To remove the bracket, use your Phillips screwdriver to remove the two Phillips screws here. The OWC data doubler can use any 2.5 inch SATA hard disk drive. We will use the much faster and reliable OWC Mercury Extreme SSD. The easiest way to install the SSD drive is to lay the data doubler like this, align the SATA connectors, and push the connectors together. We will use these two holes to attach the SSD to the data doubler using the two Phillips screws provided. Now line up and plug in the data connector. We will now install the bracket from our old optical drive onto the data doubler. Line up the bracket and secure it using the two small Phillips screws. We will now install the data doubler with our SSD installed inside our MacBook Pro. Slide the data doubler in place, making sure that this side goes under the lip. Make sure that this wire is not underneath the hard drive or bracket, and make sure that the data doubler is laying flat. Now replace the Phillips screw next to the fan. We will be using the two special Phillips screws that came with the data doubler in these two holes and not the original screws. Pull the module slightly back to reveal the Phillips screw hole here and screw in the Phillips screw that came with the data doubler. Slide the module in place. Replace the two Phillips screws, starting with the long screw here. Now 
Now plug in the data connector and the ribbon cable. Slide the bottom of the MacBook Pro in place and push in here and here to lock it in place. Replace the 10 Phillips screws, starting with the three longer ones here. You can now turn your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.